Hey, what is going on everybody? It's Robert. We're on the uh, Mr. Tackle Box channel this time. You know what? I'm gonna show you guys something that I, I learned here in Florida. It's kind of like, um, I don't know, I want to call it a new technique, but it, it kind of is. And it's very, very effective. We'll roll some clips from earlier this morning at the same time, but I really want to go in depth on what I was doing because I, I didn't really go in depth in my video. And I feel like it's very important that, that uh, you guys know this, it's pretty cool. All right, so out the gate, seven, six heavy rod. That's exactly what I'm using. And this is a 55 pound braid. This is pegged. I'm gonna show you guys all this kind of stuff. I know a lot of people, when you're when you're watching these tip videos, you want to actually learn something. So I think it's very imperative that I actually show you something. Uh, the color that I've been using is Okeechobee Craw. It's like a green pumpkin on one side, and then it's blue sapphire on the other side. That's pretty much the deal. And they were absolutely munching it this morning. If you guys want to grab any of this stuff, by the way, that I'm going to show you, you can click the link at the top of the bio, and you could save 30% on literally everything you're about to see. So out the gate a lot of people don't know how to tie this knot and i think this is really important when you're flipping or throwing i i use this knot pretty much i would say 50 percent of the time like honestly it's either this or an improved clinch knot but this is a snell if you guys know how to tie a snell knot skip ahead like 13 seconds if not you're about to learn and you probably need to know this is like the best flipping knot you could possibly you, you need to actually be tying this like for sure and i'll show you why here in a second I think this is cool. I, I don't really don't do this on my channel. I don't I don't show you guys how to tie knots. So I'm glad that I'm able to do it over here on the MTV channel. I'm sure a lot of people think it's repetitive, but I didn't know how to tie a snail when I started doing YouTube and I had to watch YouTube videos to learn how to tie a snail knot. And uh, out the gate, I know this sounds crazy, but I'm actually using a four out worm hook, mainly because the bandito bug itself is very thin. And you can use a flipping hook, which is a straight shank, but I feel like it tears up the nose too much with most of the flipping hooks out there. So I've been using this and it's been working just fine. So I got it pegged with a, this is a, I think a 3 16th ounce tungsten. It's pegged right there. And you'll see why here in a second. But with a snell knot, very imperative. Very, very, very imperative. This is the front of the hook. Line goes through the front. All right, always through the front. I pull a good, good amount through. All right. Okay, so you guys see the lines through. Now I pull it this way and I just make a loop. Put my thumb right there put the line underneath my thumb. So just like this, you guys see that little loop right there? Can they see it very well? You guys see the loop I made? All right, take the line and I just wrap it around the head of this hook five times. Okay, now that you're here, finger placement is the most difficult thing. So I'll have my fingers holding the line, take my other hand, grab onto where I just did that right there. You see that? Pull this down and you're gonna take this loose end and you're gonna put it through there just like that. That easy, pull it up. Now I take my fingers back around, grab onto it all right here, and just pull both ends. It's tied. Snell knot. Now there's a reason why I do this when I'm flipping. Like I, you guys will not see me tie anything else when I'm flipping heavy stuff, punching stuff. I'm telling you, I, I use a snell knot a lot actually. Now there's a reason why. When you're using heavy weights, you're gonna pull your your bobber stop and everything down. But when you guys set the hook, your hook automatically curls up. See that? Your hooks automatically curl up when you apply pressure. So that's why that's why you do it a lot when you're you're flipping and stuff because it automatically turns the hook up it's not going out but if you had put it through like if you put the the line through the back side of the hook first it would actually go outwards like this so anyway there's that and then it's about as easy peasy as it can get when it comes to rigging this son of a gun on there this bandito bug has been working magic straight up weedless just throw it out there and you guys can see right here when it's like gliding through these, these are like dollar pads. When it's just going through the dollar pads, it's going so nice and juicy. And it's just all the way through. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and roll a couple clips of uh, of some fish catches and how I'm, how I'm going and about casting and reeling, retrieving, catching. And I'll see you guys here in a second. Oh, not a bad fish. Good fish. Oh yeah. I'm out to Okeechobee, swimming that bandito bug. Told y'all, got that thing pegged. Just swimming it. We got to see these little dollar pads all through here on the edge of this grass like I was telling you? There we go. There's another one. That one might be good. Oh, it's stuck behind a bunch of stuff. Damn, he hammered it. That fish absolutely boom. Oh, it's wrapped in so much stuff. Come on, still be on it. 
That's a good fish. Oh my gosh, bandito bug fish number. Dang. Oh, he spit it. There we go. Hey, read those poles for me, dude. There we go. I don't think that one's gonna be four pounds. That's probably three and a half. What do you think? Yeah. Hey, dude, killing it. Okay, so before we hop off here, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, you guys can throw this thing next to, I, I would utilize it like eelgrass, um, any type of grass, honestly. Hydrilla might be a little more of a pain if you get it down into the hydrilla itself, but if you guys have like a pond you guys are fishing, if you guys have a pond with a bunch of pads or just grass or anything you think you can put a swim bait through, try give this a shot. Just, just give it a shot, I'm telling you. It's different, something they haven't seen before, and it moves like a mother trucker in the water. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this quick little tip on this new technique, and I'll see you guys later. And I love you, MTB. See you. Bye.